when you are performing experiments, what you often do is varying one parameter, let us call this one x, and measuring the effect on another parameter, say y. An example is the stretching of a spring y as a function of the weight x. So you put different weights on the spring and measure how far it is stretched. If you do not stretch too far, so no permanent deformation occur, your spring will obey Hooke's law. This means that you expect your points x, y to be on a line. y equals some constant plus some other constant times x. From the first constant you can find or compute the equilibrium position. From the second constant, the spring constant. You will, however, make measurement errors in your experiments, so your point will not be exactly on a line. How can we find the best line through our points? Linear algebra will come to aid you, as you will see in this video. Here we have an example. We write the mass x from 0, 1 to, to 3, and we measured the stretching y and it happened that for x equals 0 we found y equals 0, for x equals 1 we found y equals 2, etc. 2, 1, 3, 4 are the other data points. And put them on a graph over here. And as you see, those four points are not exactly on a line. So, let us look. What would be the best line through these four points? Well, I guess this one is not the best line. So maybe this one could be the best line, or maybe that one, or maybe someone which is even a bit different. From the eye it's very hard to tell what will be the best line, so let us make it a bit, a bit more precise. I expect to have a line y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 times x and I have to determine the optimal beta 0 and beta 1. Well, in the optimal case, all points are exactly on the line. That means that all four points over here lie on the line y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 times x. So if we substitute the first point, for example, we get y 0 equals beta 0 plus beta 1 times 0. And if the second data point would be exactly on the line, we get y equals 2 equals beta 0 plus beta 1 times x equals 1. And for the third data point we have y equals 1 and x equals 2. And for the last data point we have y equals 4 and x equals 3. So we get uh, four equations with two unknowns. Here we have the same equations. Uh, so we have a linear system and we can rewrite the system as a matrix equation, matrix A, times a known vector containing beta 1 and beta 2 ta equals a known vector, uh, which we will call b. So we have a problem of the form a times x equals b, and we know a and we know b. In this case, a is the matrix over here, and b is the vector over here. However, we also already know that this system will be inconsistent, because if the system were consistent, all four points would be exactly on the line, and as you can see, this is not going to happen. So we have now an inconsistent system, and the question is, how can we solve in some way an inconsistent system?